Now going over to the business blunder of the day, you have Apple to sell an iTunes gift card scam. Apparently they were making as much as 30%. Now, one of the biggest scams in life, well, I, you could also argue a scam in and of itself, is getting a gift as someone giving you an iTunes gift card. Perhaps it's not a scam, it's just a really crappy gift. I can't help but think of a more useless thing these days, giving someone an iTunes gift card. In terms of cybersecurity and IT and phishing campaigns, there are still way too many people who click the button and says, yes, I want free iTunes gift cards, or someone will be, their company will get hacked, and they'll pretend to be someone, they'll pretend to be the CEO, and they'll go to the CFO, and they'll send an email going, hey, I need you know, $10,000 in iTunes gift cards. Which again, I can't think of anyone who would rationally purchase an iTunes gift card to begin with. It's unbelievable to say the least. One, I would argue an, an Amazon gift card, that makes sense. That's, a, that's something people would use. But iTunes gift card, I mean, come on. It's a cliche as old as time. Now, apparently, I, I almost suspect why hasn't this been fixed sooner? Apple is profiting from this. So this comes to us, again, thanks to Reuters from Jonathan Stemple. And the headline goes, Apple agrees to settle a lawsuit over iTunes gift card scam. Now, they note that they have agreed to settle the lawsuit, which was accusing the company of knowingly letting scammers exploit the gift cards and keep stolen funds for itself. Now, it looks like according to the filing earlier this week in federal court, in San, or sorry, federal court in San Jose, California, Apple and plaintiffs have agreed to a material settled terms after working uh, with a uh, modi uh, mediator. They also note that they are drafting a formal settlement to be presented to the U.S. District Judge Edward Davila for preliminary approval. Now, granted, I don't suspect this, don't, there's not really any much reason for this not to be approved if both sides come to the table and come to an agreement. So I suspect it'll be approved pretty easy to stamp that out. Now, in terms of the intricities of the scam, they note that the scam involves fraudsters who instill panic or urgency by insisting by phone that victims buy Apple App Store and iTunes gift cards or Apple Store gift cards in order to pay for taxes, hospital bills, and utility bills, bail, and debt collection. Victims are then told to share the co codes on the back of the gift cards, despite a warning on the cards that reads, do not share your codes or your code with anyone you do not know, unquote. So it's kind of, not hilarious, a little bit sad, how far intellect has gone down in the United States throughout the, the years. And again, I understand if you're elderly or... I understand everyone can be tricked on a bad day, but there used to be one of my favorite memes on the Facebook is there used to be like instructions on how to change your valve timing in your car. And now your car gives you a warning saying, do not drink the battery acid, which that's pretty sad how bar, far the bar has been lowered. Now it looks like according to the complaint, Apple would typically deposit only 70% of the stolen funds into the fundraiser's bank accounts and keep 30% for itself as a quote unquote commission for knowingly converting stolen codes into dollars. Now you note that victims likely lost hundreds of millions of dollars in the scam. The lawsuit covered anyone in the United States who from 2015 to July, 2020 bought gift cards <coughs> redeemable on Apple's or the app store provided codes to fraudsters and did not receive funds from Apple. Now they noted that in 2022, Davila rejected Apple's bid to dismiss the lawsuit. He said that the plaintiffs sufficiently alleged that the Cupertino, California-based company's effort to disclaim liability even after the victims claimed they were scammed were unconscionable. Now, it looks like the case is specifically called Apple, or sorry, Bart, Bartlett, E-T-A-L, v. Apple, Inc., E-T-A-L, U.S. District Court, New Northern District of California, number 20-04812. Not the best marketing in terms of the docket number, but I understand the value of a numerical ordering process in the government systems. And I think the part that jumped out at me the most was 30% commission? That is unprecedentedly high, especially for that type of transaction. Now, in terms of business blunder, I mean, this has been a joke for years, the iTunes gift card scam. And the fact that Apple had actually been profiting off of that, I don't think a lot of people knew. And again, Apple's brand and the reputation, historically, has been around, you know, protecting your privacy, cybersecurity. They famously denied the government's ask to actually break into an iPhone. And Apple told them, you know, for security concerns, we can't just give you one magical key. Because again, as soon as we find it or create it, everyone else in the world will be able to do the same thing. It'd be detrimental to our whole, <coughs> excuse me, to our whole business. So for consumers, a big part of the brand identity of Apple is 
protecting their data, being secure, and making you know, very fast, fancy, expensive products. And to have an instance where it looks like they actually profited from the scam, and some people are arguing maybe enable it, I mean, for the brand alone, that, that as well as the fiscal damage to this, which again, Apple is the most profitable company in the planet, fiscally speaking, this isn't going to debt them a, a bit, but still the damage to their brand, that is certainly the business blunder of the day. Thank you everyone again for taking the time to tune in today. Again, I'm trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of January. So if you click that, that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also leaving a comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback and how I can make the show better and better and better. Also, lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.